and welcome to another episode of Full Bar. In today's video, we are going to trigger a step function from an another Lambda using the AWS SDK. If you want to watch more content like this, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started. <laughs> I have already made a couple of videos on stem functions. I think they're really cool for serverless. So if you don't know what stem functions are, maybe you should click around here and I will give you, leave you a card where you can find my introduction to stem functions and what are those. So you have requested this quite a lot. You have requested like how we can trigger stem functions. I have shown you in this other video that is around here, how to trigger it from an API gateway but now I want to show you how to trigger a step function from an AWS Lambda. And why I want to show you that? Because the step functions cannot be triggered as Lambda with so many different triggers. So if we want to make our step functions very flexible, one thing we can do is to trigger a Lambda in whatever way we want to trigger a Lambda, maybe from an a free notification, as we saw in some previous videos, or from Dynamo Streams, or for API Gateway, or queues, or whatever you can imagine. And then this Lambda will trigger the step function. It's very simple to trigger the step function from a Lambda. You only need to use the AWS SDK. And I will show you how to do that. So let's go to the code. So let's get started. First, as always, let's create a directory. Let's create a directory for our project. I will call it a step functions testing or something like that. It's always very, very descriptive. You know how good I am at naming projects. And we get in and then we do npm init dash yes. And we initialize our npm project and then we initialize our serverless project. So we create sls create dot slash templates aws dash no js. These steps we have done two million times. Then we go to Atom, that is my text editor. You can have any other as you please. And in there, the first thing we are going to do is to change the service name as we should always, always, always do whenever we start a project with the AWS Node.js template. And I call always my service the same as the project. So it's easy. I like to put a region. I will put Ireland that is close to me and then I will put a profile that is my default profile because I have many profiles. The next thing I want to do is I want to import a couple of plugins to this project. The first one is the serverless step function plugin. If you don't know how to use this plugin, I will let you a card in the top with instructions on how to get started with this plugin. It's a really good plugin made by the community. So you should go and check it out and I will also use another plugin that is something I have not shown you yet, but it's quite handy. And it's a plugin that will allow to use these kind of pseudo parameters like our AWS account number. So I don't need to put that in the serverless YAML. So I can keep my serverless YAML very, very uh, generic. So if you get it from GitHub, because the code as always will be available on GitHub, you can use it straight away without worrying about changing this number. So I'm using that serverless pseudo parameter plugin and just installing it and putting it in the in the serverless YAML. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create our step functions. I will not go into details on how to create a step functions. I already went to the details in the video I mentioned you before. So I will not describe all the things that are going on here. But I will create a very basic step function. It will be a step function with only one lambda, with only one task, that will be this calculate random number. And this is going to be uh, just, I just want to prove to you that we can trigger this step function from a lambda. That's what we want to do. So it doesn't make sense to have a very complex uh, step function because most of the, the work will be done in the lambda that will be triggering the step function. So for now, we just have a simple step function with one task that is one lambda. 
So now we need to create our calculate random number lambda. And you can see in the resource of the step function, you have this AWS account ID, AWS region. Those are for this, um, they're for pseudo, pl uh, pseudo parameters plugin. So in that way you can use these um, environmental variables. So now we go to our handler and we create that method, the calculate random number. For now, we just make it return just a callback with normal. We will change this in the next video. But we want to have a comment that we call this method. So we know that the step function was triggered. Now we go back to our serverless YAML and we are going to create another lambda. This will be the one that is initializing the whole uh, step function. So this is a lambda that is outside the step function and it will execute that step function. And I will attach it to a API gateway. So I will just put some logs here. So we know that we are calling all these things. And now we can clean up this code because we are going to change it a bit. So the first thing we want to do is to require the libraries of AWS SDK for step functions. We are going to require that module. And then we are going to create a new method called step function. And we are passing a number, a number that we can get from the query, for example. So we can do some calculations in the calculate random number. It really doesn't matter for for this exercise. I just want to show you that you can pass things around. So now we call that function and it will be a promise because as you know, I like promises. So now we, in the handler, we just have this query parameter that is number and we pass that to the function. And now we can start writing our execute step function. Function, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to put some logs and also to the state machine name. The state machine name is the same that we have put to step function in the serverless YAML, but it needs to start with capital letter. So don't forget that if not, this won't work. So you can just go to your step function and, and look there and put a capital letter in the first one and you will have it. Then after that, we are going to call the AWS SDK to list all the state machines that there are available and then we will get that list of state machines. And from that list, we are going to start looking into that list for the one that has the name that we are looking for. Uh, you should not check for like equal the name because the names they get uh, created with some random values. So you need to find the one that contains that name. So now we can iterate on over that list and then we can get the name of the state machine and we can check that if the name of that state machine is, contains the state machine names that we define at the beginning. And if it does, then we have find the state machine. So here you have to be careful not to name your state machines like one, two and three and four. I have like a state machine name without the one and two and three and four because everything becomes a little bit funky as you don't know the exact name. Then we just define some parameters from where these are the parameters we want to use to call the state machine. So we will define the, the RNN that we will get from the item after we have found that state machine from the list. And then we are going to give an input. The input is going to be just the number. In the next video, I will show you more about passing parameters around. And we will start the execution. And if everything goes fine, we just return true. And if there is some error, we return false. So in our uh, parent function, we are just going to catch that result. And if the result is false, then we just change the message to the step function is not executing or something like that. And if everything is fine, we just put the message the step function is executing. So we can return a message that makes sense. And then we just modify the response. So we return just the, the message. We don't want to return the input. So this is pretty simple. We search for the step function with the name. 
we we get all the state machines we find the one with the right name and then we execute the last thing we are missing is to give permissions to this lambda to list all the state machines and to start the execution so you need to go to your serverless yaml and to your iam permissions and give permissions to to this if not then you will get an error that you cannot perform these operations and after we have everything we can just go and deploy and as always i will speed this up for you because it will take a while after this deploy you can go to your aws account and see what it created it will should create a step function and an api gateway and a couple of lambdas we are not going there, but you can go and check. We are going to just copy that endpoint that we get from the deployment. We are putting it in Postman, and then we are just giving a query string parameters that is number 10. And then we can go and check the logs for the execute function. And we can see the execute function, what it's doing and, and how it's getting all the different uh, state machines that there are available and also then we can go and check the logs for the calculate random number and we can see that it's being called and that's it that was the video for today i hope you enjoyed it there will be a second part of this video in where we are going to connect two lambdas together that's something also you have requested so if you are not already subscribed and you're interested in that subscribe and put the notifications on for this channel because this video is coming up soon if you have any questions comments suggestions or whatever you would like to see from my channel just leave it in the comment box below i always like to make videos that you are interested in watching and around here as always there are other videos from my channel for you to watch so go ahead click and keep on watching and i see you in the next episode of fubar ciao